Hello students. Today we are going to discuss about the cultural characteristics of Escherichia coli. So this Escherichia coli is commonly known as E. coli. They are a large varied group of bacteria found in the environment, foods and lower intestines of humans and animals. So most of the strains of this E. coli are harmless but some strains causes food poisoning in human. So a bacterial colony is a visible mass of microbial cells originating from one single cell. So this Escherichia coli are also uh, facultative anaerobes. Then the optimum good temperature required for them is around 37 degree Celsius and ranges from 10 to 40 degree Celsius. So we are going to check like after we grow this particular organism or bacteria on different different medias or culture medias, then we will see what are the culture characteristics they produced. So we can grow in we can grow this organism in different different types of culture medias so first we have a simple media that is a nutrient agar so how this escherichia coli looks in after we grow them in this nutrient agar so they are uh, this in nutrient agar the colonies they appear large circular low convex grayish white moist smooth and opaque and they are of two forms like smooth form and rough form then the smooth forms are emulsifiable in saline if we emulsify it in saline it is emulsifiable then due to repeated subculture there is a smooth to rough variation we used to call it sr variation so this is how the e coli looks like in when we grow it in this uh, nutrient agar medium <coughs> so the next media we have is the mcgonkey agar how will this e coli looks like after we grow it in this mcgonkey media or mcgonkey agar so out here the colonies are circular moist smooth and of entire margin then this colonies also appear flat and pink in color if you see the picture it is clearly visible i i hope then they are lactose fermenting colonies since the color is changed to pink so they are they ferment the lactose if it is uh, non-lactose fermenting they will the color will not change so in case of this escherichia coli if if, if we grow it in mcconkey agar it will ferment the lactose so it is a lactose fermenting bacteria then we have another media that is blood agar so how will this escherichia coli looks after we grow it in the blood agar what are the characteristics produced by this organism in blood agar <coughs> sorry so out here the colonies are big circular gray and moist then they also produced beta hemolytic in blood agar mostly we checked the hemolysis part or whether it is a beta hemolytic colonies gamma hemolytic colonies or alpha hemolytic colonies but in case of this uh, escherichia coli they will produce beta hemolytic colonies next we have is the uh, miller hinton agar or mha so out here the colonies are pale straw in color it is mostly used in the antibiotic susceptibility testing you can see the disc right we have the antibiotic disc in this plate so it is mostly used for ast this media mha media then if we grow 
this is Chirichia coli on liquid media. We will have the following characteristics like they will show homogeneous turbid growth within 12 to 18 hours. Then we will have R form or rough form agglutinate spontaneously, then forming sediment at, at the bottom of the test tubes. Then after prolonged incubation, like uh, more than 72 hours, we will see pellicles are formed on the surface of the liquid media. Then we will also see heavy deposits are formed which disperse on shaking. So this is in case of liquid media if we keep the organism in liquid media. Next we have is the EMB agar. So Escherichia coli when we grow it or when we kept it in eosin methylene blue or we also call it EMB agar. So what are the characteristics shown or appeared? Here we can see the picture. It shows green metallic sheen colonies are formed in the EMB agar or eosin methylene blue agar. Then we have another media that is VRBA or violet red bile agar. So what happened when we grow the Escherichia coli on, on this media? So we will see red colonies or pink to red colonies formed in case of this media as well. Then uh, we will see bluish fluorescent around the colonies when we observe it under UV light. So it will be bluish fluorescence in color that is in case of uh, violet red bile agar media so that's all about the cultural characteristics of escherichia coli thank you